Hello there guys and welcome to our 30th C++ tutorial. Sorry for taking so long to come up with another tutorial, but I was I, I just created some new uh, series of tutorials guys. You should go check those out, they're pretty fun. So one is in C and one the other one is in HTML. You should go take a look at those as well. But this is our 30th uh, C++ tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to go ahead and talk about classes. So we're going to, let's go ahead and define our first class. So let's begin with classes. And if you guys haven't watched all my other videos as well, please go ahead and do that as well. If you haven't watched the other tutorials in C++ and all HTML and C and Java and Visual Basic and my Photoshop videos, guys, go ahead and watch those as well. They're very cool and informative. And if you have any comments, uh, you can leave comments with any with any concerns, um, you know, any suggestions you guys have or requests. And please subscribe to my channel, guys. And you can also rate all the videos uh, by giving a lot of feedback, the ratings and the comments give me a lot of feedback if you guys like me with or not and thank you for watching this tutorial guys and let's go ahead and get started with this so let's go ahead and include our stream our input and output stream and let's start using the namespace standard std and let's go ahead and begin by defining our class to do that we just type class I'm going to call my class three dimensions, three dimensions, and then we have it open and closing brackets, and we have a semicolon there. Inside our class here, I'm going to, I'm going to type public, and I'm going to define, I'm going to declare three variables. One I'm going to call x, one I'm going to call y, and one I'm going to call z. And they all, all three are uh, of data type int. I'm going to call Z. Alright. Guys, we're going to be typing our code first and we'll go over the code just so you guys, so we can, so we can uh, understand it uh, completely. Alright, so let's go inside our main here. And here inside our main, um, we, we must call, basically, we, we must define an instance of the, of the class in order so we can use the class variables that we just declared. To do that, we, we type the name of the class. In my, in my case, it's three dimensions. And then uh, anything that like you want to name it. Uh, I'm going to name it TH for three and V for dimensions. But you can give it any name you wish. And I'm going to declare a variable inside of here and call it, uh, let's call it sum. Alright. Uh, well, put the <laughs> put the data type in there, I'm going to make it an int since we have, uh, so we should declare int uh, data type variables in our class and I'm going to call it sum. So I declare that as well. Now what, what you can do is type THD, this is an instance of, of the class which is inside your main and hit that and then you see here, I see my variables that I have in my, in my, in my class there pop up and I can choose wh wh whichever variable I need. I'm going to choose X. I'm going to set x to a variable here. I'm going to set x to be 16, any random number you guys wish, but it must be an integer. So this is just an integer data type here. I'm going to do the same thing here, but instead of x, I'm going to put y. I'm going to make that 18, and let's go ahead. I'm going to do the same thing for z. I'm going to set this to be equal to, let's say, 27. Okay, now down here, I'm going to compute the sum. So I'm just going to just say, call the variables x uh, plus and then the same thing for y and then the same thing for z alright and down here let me just put a c out statement and print out the sum and let's put a n line here to make it look a little neater and then put a system call this so we're making a system call here just so we can, so our, so when we build the normal program, it doesn't just run all the code so fast and it just disappears in within the output. This will pause it and, uh, until we hit the, until we click on the character. I mean, until we hit a character on our keyboard. And next, let's type return zero, as this will tell our main function everything is correctly and we're done. All right. So let's go ahead and run this and let's see what what. Well actually, let's go over our code first. All right. So the way we declare a class, uh, we, we define our class here in C++ is by the keyword class. That tells the compiler, oh, but this is a class. The three, and the class name is three dimensions. 
inside our class we can have public variables, private variables, but we'll talk about private variables and protective variables later on. This is public variables. And this is the scope basically. Public means that it can be seen uh, pretty much uh, everywhere in with, with within this uh, folder, in our folders here. So, so it can be seen with, with anywhere in here. So all if we had other source files, you wouldn't be able to see these variables. So basically public means just a scope. So it's a public scope and pretty much anybody can see it. We'll talk about the other scopes later on. Okay, now we declared three variables which are public in the public scope and they're of data type int. We call them I call them XYZ. You guys could call them anything if you wish. And so this is a very simple class. We have three variables, we have no functions in there to, to do nothing. So okay. Now we have our class M here. Now we go to our main. Inside the main, in order to, to, to use those variables, we must create an instance of the class here. And we'll do that by basically this is this is our constructor. So and then we, we create an instance here. And I call my PhD standing for short for three dimensions, abbreviation here. But not exactly, but short for three dimensions. Uh, and we can use this to basically call um, all our variables that we have in our class and also and also if we have functions we can call the functions as well and here we declare another uh, in data type uh, variable we call the sum and what we're doing down here is we're calling our variables from our class and we can do that by typing the instance we created here the name and, and followed by that and then uh, the function of the variable we wish to call and then I'm, I'm initializing them here I'm setting them equal to some, to some uh, integer and down here I'm just adding those three values and then printing them out. So what we should see is 27 plus 16 plus 18. So that that should be our basically our final result. This should be here 40, 50, so it should be 61. The answer should be 61 here. So if we go ahead and build this project, make sure we don't get any errors. So it was built successfully. Let's go ahead and let's just click the play button here. And we see 61, just that we expect. Okay, guys, this was a very simple tutorial in classes. Uh, we'll define our first class in C++. We'll continue with another tutorial, um, a little bit uh, uh, a more advanced tutorial in classes. And classes are very useful, guys. Are pretty much how ever, how most of our how all programs are pretty much uh, structured. They're very efficient and very easy to manage. So when you run to a, when you run into a problem, you can fairly easily troubleshoot a problem. So. Thank you for watching this tutorial, guys. If you have any uh, concerns or suggestions, uh, please also uh, leave comments or send me a uh, message. And uh, please uh, rate the videos and uh, you know uh, subscribe to my channel. That truly means a lot, and lets me know if you guys like the videos or, or not. And if you have any any particular uh, any suggestion, any particular tutorials you guys would like me to make, please uh, send me a message or leave a comment, and I'll try my best to make that happen. So again, don't forget to subscribe. This was our 30th tutorial in C++ and finally uh, this came. And uh, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe guys and we'll bring more coming up very soon. So thank you for watching this one. And I will be back in our tour very soon. Uh, and don't forget to watch the other series of tutorials guys. Thank you very much.